hey there guys i hope that all of you are having a great day i'm just doing a little magazine harvest here today i love to do these it's there's something very calming and centering and soothing about doing magazine harvest so i thought we'd just sit here really quickly and do like a 10 minute thing and today i'm going to harvest but then i'm also going to put together uh, some small little mixed media pieces from my harvest. So let's just see what we can get done. I've got some art trading cards over here, and I think that that is what I will do. You know, we'll just do a little harvest, and we'll make a, a few art trading cards as well. I'm going to step over here and turn my heater off for a minute because it just got really super hot. I think it's about 60 degrees today, which is so nice. It's like awesome. I'm working with the March issue of National Geographic. The cover says we are not alone. I don't know if your library offers uh, magazines for sale. Mine does. They're a quarter, but these come to me from my friends that I cat sit for. And I really, really, really uh, love National Geographic. I love the font. I love the pages. I love the colors. I love everything about it. So let's just uh, let's just get started. I'm going to harvest this page, and the easiest way to harvest is kind of just pull things out. And I see some good color here. There's good color over here. Um, I'm just going to do a couple pages. Well, you know, if we if we if we feel like we need anything, then we can uh, we can come back and do a little more in this magazine. Sometimes it's fun to just challenge yourself and see how many elements you can get from just a couple of pages of fun. I see something here that I really do love. There's this sweet photograph of a young lady right here. I like that. So let's cut that out and put it to the side. This is wonderful right here. A great image. Now, because I'm making art trading cards, y'all, I'm, I'm looking for smaller kind of things, you know, not whole page images. Whole page images are great to add to flow books. But right now, I'm just focusing on art trading cards love if you you know don't never discount that table of contents because a lot of times it will have some nice big numbers for you to use i've already harvested the number eight and the number 17 i am going to leave the word embark with the number 17 I like all of this. So the content said embark on page 17. There's an uh, there's an article called The Big Idea, A Wake-Up Call on Water Quality. But instead of using that whole block of the table of contents, I'm just using this. Embark 17, The Big Idea, A Wake-Up Call. That would be a great, a great um, focal image for... An art trading card. Yay! There's an elephant. So we're going to cut him out. Uh, I love the word explore. So we'll have that to play with. I should, I guess I'm going to have to drop my play, you know, Play, the word play. Um, these COPA regulations are starting to kind of, um, I don't even know what to say about it. It's the, Nick the Booksmith has an awesome uh, explanation of all this COPA, COPA regulations. Um, so I will try to find her astute video. Where she explains Copa, Copa, and she also makes cookies at the same time. So it's like something that is, all this Copa stuff is 
sour and unpleasant, but yet Nick is making cookies and it, it makes it not so bad. It's like that spoonful of sugar. <laughs> Helps the medicine go down kind of thing. <laughs> okay, you guys can kind of see what I've done here. I have just uh, taken some images. I was going to make a couple of... I had grabbed my bird pattern as well as my star pattern to play. Whoop, there I go. Um, so we'll just we'll make a bead right here. You know what I think we'll do? I think we will take a bit of gold washi. And just do that. This would have been a cool image because it was an Egyptian image, but I whacked it up. Mm, no, I don't know what I'm thinking of. That's not going to work. All right. I lost my thought pattern there for a minute. All right, so let's make us a little bird. I started collecting patterns for things like this when I very first started crafting. So my little pattern folder, it's a, a good reminder of where I started and where I am now because it has patterns from literally when I very first started, which is, hmm. Gosh, it's been quite a while. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Uh, 10 years? Something like that? Maybe? That really made a good bird. And I think with the... Oh, okay. We've got some, some good, good color here. So that will be... We'll just let this be a star. Be a star. My tummy's growling. I'm sorry. I need to go down and get some food. What a great thing. What a great statement to make. I'm going to go downstairs and have some food. Isn't that an awesome thing? To just be able to have some food. To go downstairs and have some food. I had taught school for a number of years. Ten years. And I had children who did not have enough to eat. And it was, um, you know, it was, it was back during the time when you could take the kid to the cafeteria and go, this kid's hungry. And the cafeteria lady would go, well, honey, let's get you something to eat. You know, not like now when you hear stuff on the TV about uh, you know, people snatching trays of food from children who are hungry. Oh my gosh. Don't make me jump this counter and throttle you. All right. All right. So that was a, did we do two pages or just one? I think we just did one page. We were just very efficient with using the back and the front of the page. All right, let's put together a few art trading cards. This is the trash that I have. These are like mini trash things. Uh, so I've got some art trading cards. I think the first thing we'll do is I want to use the elephant and probably the word Explore. Um, going to do this side. This is a piece of board from a paper pad. 
And I've used it under some things that I'm spraying. Let's flip this over and trim it. I like the I like the board on the back of the paper pads because it's very um, super sturdy, you know. These were things that did not go together that we are making go together. I think we'll put the word explore down here. This is a great way to use up your harvest. You know, you use your harvest. You don't have to store it and then wonder where it is and what did I do with it and organize it and pay for plastic organizing units and storage units because you're just going to use what you harvested. I like this. It says capture tomorrow. Yeah, I think we'll just use that. That's pretty neat. Oh, I wish I could do that, man. I would be terrified. All right, so we've got two done. Let me grab a couple more ATCs over here out of my chippy pile because I was going to make some chippy ATCs. We'll probably do that in the next video. All right, so we have this. It's kind of in this chippy style. Something here. Um, let's start in the middle. And, hmm, do we see anything? Okay, I just turned this over and it looks like it's going to work great right here. And then we'll put this one here. And you have a little bit peeking through there, but I think that'll be all right. Oh, I really like that. That looks super cool. I need some edging over here, though. Here. And here. Let me trim these things off. Like this. One, two, three, four. And then we'll put our birdie down in the middle. Ooh, that really looked pretty, like that rusty color. I know, it's the O color. I know, I know, but I like it. Um, do we have a word or anything over here that we might want to use? Ooh, I like the word proof. There we go. All right, one more. We've got this. This image was like this. This is an article about creating clouds indoors as a decor. Um, as decor. <laughs> like for parties and stuff. This <laughs> is crazy beautiful. All right, so we'll put that there. I feel like we need something around the edge. Hey, we got a little bit of text left, so let's use that. Here, trim that off. Sorry, B. 
being a little quiet today. ASMR video, right? <laughs> I did not know what that was until my niece um, told me about it. She's like, you don't know what that is, Aunt Tammy? It's like, no, what is it? Is it something really bad? <laughs> if it is, I don't want to know anything about it. She was like, no. It's people eating, people like certain sounds, crickets. I was like, what? And then she showed me what it was all about. Which is very interesting. I like the I like the girl on here, so we're gonna use her. And then let's see. Love the number eight. But I think maybe something smaller. Yeah, there we go. This says 34. And the word under it says decoder. Really neat. Okay, guys. All right, let's take a look at what we, we were able to get done really quickly with just one page of a magazine. So we, we made some focal images. We made um, stars and birds we also because we were using the table of contents of this particular book which was national geographic we got some nice big numbers that we can use for all kinds of things uh, we were able to harvest words sentences uh, idea snippets uh, we were able to harvest some images so we've done this art trading card just an elephant that says explore. This one says capture tomorrow. This one says proof. I really like the way that turned out. I like the way the bird turned out on there. And then this one says decoder. So never discount a magazine. For 25 cents, a magazine is <laughs> just a marvelous way to get your creative juices stirring. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.